Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another week of worship and today we are going to be thinking about how God gives us courage. So like always when we begin our worship we light the candle to remember God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit and I'll just place it over there so you can see it just about okay and do you remember those actions that we've been practicing so we say it together the lord is here his spirit is with us okay hopefully you're getting really good at that now should we do it one more time the lord is here his spirit is with us now like i said we're going to be thinking about courage today which is one of our core values what do you think of when you hear the word courage? Just have a little chat with the person next to you. Excellent. Okay, I hope you had some good ideas. Now, my next question for you is, who do you think of when you hear the word courage? Just have another little chat. Who do you think of? Okay, so in today's story from the Bible, we're going to be thinking about courage and how sometimes we need courage to help us get through things. Because courage to me is about gaining inner strength, even when you're not feeling particularly brave at all. So it might be when you're in a situation where you're feeling a little bit scared or a little bit anxious and nervous but you draw that inner strength from inside your body to face it. That is courage. So it doesn't mean somebody who's showing off, saying, oh, look what I can do. I'm really brave, look at me. I think it's more for somebody who is really nervous about doing something, but still goes ahead and do it, does it. That is real courage. So we're going to be listening to a story and it's called, well, it's got lots of names. This, in this book, it's called David the Giant Killer. But you might have heard it called David and Goliath as well. So we're going to be reading it from our Storyteller Bible. And let's listen really carefully, so make sure you're comfortable. David the Giant Killer. Goliath was big. He had to stoop to get through doorways. His head was always bumping up against the ceiling and his friends thought twice before inviting him to dinner. Goliath had a big spear, 10 feet long at least, with a big iron point, and his big bronze armour weighed a 100 pounds or more. Goliath had a big voice too, and one day he used it. He stamped out in front of his army of the Philistines and shouted across the valley to the soldiers camped on the other side. I am Goliath, he bellowed, and I dare any of you to come and fight me. Win the fight and we will be your slaves. Lose and you must work for us. David was little, just a boy really who looked after sheep. When he wanted a break from that, he carried cheese to his brothers in the army. And that's what he was doing one day when he heard Goliath shout. David was a little angry. Who does that giant think he is? Huffed David. Doesn't he know that the Lord God himself watches over us? Why, with God's help, even I could beat that bully. So David took a little walk. He went to see the king. I want to fight the giant, he announced. The king almost fell off his throne. But you are so little, said the king, and he is so big. I wonder how David felt at that point. He decided he was going to fight that big giant when he was so little and only a boy. Wondering what made him feel so brave. Perhaps you could pause the story now and have a little chat about that. Okay, I hope you had some good thoughts. I'm going to carry on reading the story now. 
A lion is big, answered David, and so is a bear. But when they came after my sheep, the Lord God helped me face them and fight them off. He will do the same with this giant. All right, agreed the king, but at least let me lend you my armour. The armour was too big and so heavy that David could hardly move. So he gave it back and picked up five little stones instead. One, two, three, four, five. And a sling and his trusty shepherd's staff. Goliath gave a big laugh when he saw the shepherd boy and he took two big steps. David ran a little way. Two more giant steps for Goliath and David ran a little further. They were in the middle of the valley now and everything was quiet. Goliath roared a big roar, sucked in a big breath of air and raised his big spear. David sneaked his little hand into his little pouch and pulled out a little stone and slipped it in his sling. Then he spun it round his head and let it fly. And before the giant could say another word, the stone struck him on the head and he fell with a big thud to the ground. David's side shouted a big, hooray! Goliath's side shouted, whispered a little uh-oh and from then on some pretty big things happened to the little shepherd boy he was given a king's reward he was promised the hand of the king's daughter in marriage and one day he became king himself the very best king god's people had ever had Wow, now that certainly is a story all about courage. Now, thinking about how David felt when he first faced Goliath, I don't think he felt any different than when he was confronted with a lion or a bear trying to get his sheep. Do you remember he said in the story that God was going to give him the same courage that he does when he sees a bear or a lion after his sheep? So I think he actually felt a bit like that. He knew that God was going to give him the courage to fight Goliath. And I think he was very, very brave. I'm not sure I would have that courage. But it does make me feel that sometimes when I am a little scared about doing something, I know that I can generate enough courage to get myself through it. And when you do that, and you do get through it, just think how it makes you feel. Because we've all had a time in our lives when we felt a little bit anxious about something, a little bit unsure about how we're ever going to manage it. But we get courage from somewhere, whether it comes from God, whether it comes from our friends or our family, our teachers, whoever it comes from, that courage helps get us through, doesn't it? And that was his secret. Okay, right, we are going to pause the video here so you can listen to a song now and it's called Search for the Hero and it's all about searching inside yourself and giving yourself courage to get through things and it's by M People. So whilst you're listening to this song, I'd like you just to have some quiet time and reflect. Listen to the words and perhaps at the end you could discuss with your teacher your favourite part of the song which words stuck out to you as being really important and i'll see you back here in a minute for our prayer bye okay did you like that song now that song is a quite an old song now i remember that song when i was growing up so it's been around for quite a while but the the lyrics are really lovely and it does really make you think about how to be strong now, I'm going to read a prayer, and if you'd like to make it your prayer, can you say Amen with me at the end? Hands together and eyes closed. Dear God, you know that I often feel frightened at the moment, frightened about what will happen to me, to those I love, and to our school community. But I know that you have been with me, 
I know that you will be with us today and I know that you will be with me in the future. Give me the courage to do the big things, the little things and the difficult things that will make a difference to someone else today. Amen. And I'm going to read the Lord's Prayer and perhaps you can join in with me if you know it. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, thank you for joining me for our worship today. I'm going to blow the candle out now, which signifies that our worship time is over. And as I send you off, I send you off with love and courage. And what we say, I, I will say something and I'd like you to say, we go in peace, we go in joy, we go in love, amen. So I say, go in peace and you say we go in peace go in joy we go in joy go in love we go in love amen thank you for joining me everybody and i'll see you again next week have a lovely rest of your week bye